Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from Jazzle, dazzlecraft.co.uk Continuing with my day of stamping full sheets I've come on this time to work with Timeless Tropical Sorry about the reflections but, um, but I'm going to use five colours from the Regals I did Hi Randy, I was a bit longer than half an hour but you know what. So I'm following on from what I finished with earlier on today. So excuse the dirty sheet but this is basically simple stamping on a grander scale on a full sheet. I'm absolutely thrilled with what I did earlier on. Hi Christine, welcome. I'm going to do a few today, so hopefully, you know, you'll catch and contribute. And with a bit of luck, you'll be crafting along as well with me. So, I did do this slice of happiness along with the sip, sip, hooray. So, now I'm going to do... Hi, Hilary! In you come! In you come! Um, so, I'm going to do this time... Certainly timeless tropical and I will bring in some sip it sip hooray and I like the structure that I did with the wine glass in this so I'm going to with the tropical I thought it would team up quite well with a cocktail glass so let's see what happens I'm just again it's just playing something good might come something good might not come thanks for joining me anyway Hi Esther, you're cleaning your son's bedroom, oh gosh, and I'm going to talk about cocktails and things. I hope you're going to reward yourself when you're done. How old is your son? I hope you've involved him. Hi Rails, in you come, in you come. Yeah. Do you know what though, we need to be a bit careful, I was thinking about that. There are some dangers about relaxing with a drink and chilling out a bit because we, you know, every day, it used to be that not to drink on a school night. Now there's no school night, so, you know, we're not so limited. Anyway, I'm going to try and just see what we can do here. So I've got, I'm sure, yeah, I've got the cocktail glass. What I did was, I've not really got my colours all but you know I'm not too um, obsessed with how I arrange them but what I do arrange them is in the family the colour families so that it's easy to find something some people arrange them by colour some people arrange them oh, alphabetically some people do them rainbow style <laughs> there's all sorts of ways to arrange your a uh, stamp pads on a rack that's a different hobby altogether from stamping to be honest so I just ran I, mine are just in families in no particular order and I just took every second one so that I've got five and then I might do another one with the other five from the Regals so let's just see just playing with colour okay say hi to each other welcome in everybody so I'll just say a quick hello to who I who's here just now. So we've got Randy, Christine, Hilary, Esther, Rails. Have I missed anybody? Anyway, thank you guys for coming back in for a look. I am, hi Karen, in you come. Hey Karen just lives across the water from me. If I stood high enough, we could wave to each other. Um, I'm not quite sure how this is going to pan out at all, but I'm going to use the cocktail glass um, and I'm going to pop them along the bottom I think so I'm going to bring in a neutral as well I'm going to bring in basic grey last time I used black this time this time I'm going to use so I'm just going to put the cocktail glass I'm thinking along the middle I wonder if it would be to give me a clue Where's my, where's pinched my trimmer? Here it is. Okay, I think I might score 
the middle line just to help me here. Score not cutting my, bit, my things I've got round the wrong way here, but the grey is for scoring, Janice. Right. I want just the middle. I'm not sure how this will work. Sometimes I just have crazy ideas. So I'm using the grey to put the glass in. I like, to be honest, I like basic, it's basic grey I've brought in just now. No idea if this will work or not, but do you know the only way to find out is to try. The, the basic grey is darker, it's the darker of the three greys. Just going to leave it at that, That's that will be fine. Oh, I see. I really want to bring in this stamp set. So I am going to... I like having all three greys, but then I've got all the colours. I've been a demonstrator for four and a half years, and when I first started, I can't remember what family. I bought a family in my starter kit, a family of colours. And then just every time I put an order in, I, order, I, I just kept ordering another pad and another pad. Because every time I saw somebody do something, I felt like I needed to have what they were using. The palm tree. I'm going to... I'm thinking I'll use the palm tree to put a bit of foliage coming out of the glass. Where's my claw? I'm no more organised than I was earlier. I'm just like, if I don't do things when I think about them, they just don't happen. Yeah, and then this year I've, I've been building up my blends. I'm not quite there yet. I think, I, what have I still got to get? I've still got to get... Well, I've still got to ca uh, get Cajun Crease because I ordered mango melody instead what i don't know why how i've done that so basically i'm just inking up with the old olive the top of the trees and i'm just wiping off with my finger off the the trunk what's i still a wee bit on it but that's okay that's all right Maybe a bit. We'll be stamping over that anyway. It'll not be that noticeable. That's it. Oh, I meant to stamp off as well. I'll go back in and do them in a minute. Do this one. I like that. That's better. Another good way I do suggest to my customers is if you you know if if your budget doesn't stretch to all the colours 
at once, you could get a family of marker pens. And that way you would have access to all the colours because you can stamp with your marker pens as well. It's a lush cocktail already, isn't it? I'm just taking off with my fingernail the ink on the trunk. And then Because I miss stamping off on these two, I'll just stamp off onto my grid paper and then there, I could even do a third. Hi Wendy! <laughs> I don't know if it's a treat, I'll probably drive you all crazy today. And off and then going to do another one there make them fuller so maybe I'm just using the cocktail glass as a vase I don't know is it quite a few there you go so we've got a bit of, it's just putting a bit I'm not quite sure where I'm going with this but but don't try so that's me use the palm trees as you see you don't need to use the whole stamp but just ignored the trunk bit but then obviously for another composition you might want to use the whole stamp but that's fine I'm just gonna do that and then I need to get my I love hibiscus it reminds me of holidays and it was this stamp set reminds me of hot sunny holidays which clearly I'm not going to be able to have for a wee while so I just have to make it up and be totally tropical myself here at home. So I wonder, put some rich in here. I'm going to do some hibiscus in here. And I'm going to use Blackberry Bliss for the moment. I'm all a bit disorganised here, right? We're finished with the glass just now, so we can... I need my wee tub for cleaning, and after this video, I will certainly need to go and do a bit of clean-up. Right, so, because I'm kind of doing this directional that way, so I need to be aware of the direction. So there's the big stamen thing in the hibiscus, so... I want it kind of, oh, I'm not even going to say random because I'm, I, there's no way I'm going to achieve random here. Mm. Maybe my um, this needs re-inked. Never mind, we'll just go with it though. Because once I re ink, then it can get a bit too. It's nice in Blackberry Bliss. I'll come in with the. So I don't know whether to do it down these, then I won't leave much room. I would like to have the frangipanis in here as well. Let's see, we'll maybe just do these. Well, see that was a bit of bounce stamping unintentional I wonder I'm going to leave that at that I'll show you something we can do with that now where are the wee bubbles why am I not tidier 
I wanted the wee bubbles to put the center in there. The little wee, the, here they are, the wee little ones from the wine glass. Just going to give them a clean. Where's that stamp cleaning thing? Here it is. Hello Jacqueline, in you come. We're having a full sheet stamping day today with me. Getting me a bit of a step ahead. I've committed myself to do this today. So it's going to be a few lives. And once I've got these all done, then they will be chopped up for cards and other things. Maybe small gifts. Hi Helen, in you come. Feel free to chat to each other and let each other know where you come from in the world. I'm just going to use, just to add the yellow, it's not quite, just put some yellow in the middle of the hibiscus. It's just like some pollen splattering about. And then what are my other colours here? So frangipani, what colour would you like to be? You're going to be, in this particular one, I'm going to have some cherry cobbler. But I might add, we'll see. really should have called myself the very disorganised stamper. I'm going to bring daubers in, I think. I think if I know where I've put them. I've got them in this tub, but it's quite deep and I can always get them out. Right. I might not use them, I'm just having a think about it. Bear with me a wee moment. Right, I don't know if that, I don't know, I'm just thinking here, right, let's, I, I like, I'm wondering, whether, right, these, I should wonder out loud but I'm not, my brain isn't really, so I'm thinking, I, I've got the yellow on the inside and I'm thinking I want the red. On the outside. Let's see what happens here. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I don't know. What do you think? I'm going to fill out most of the spaces with frangipanis. I need to wipe it off. We'll maybe try different ways of doing them. Try that again. So I inked it up in the yellow and then I just try to get the edge but be careful because you get the edge of your block as well so give it a bit of a Right, let's just see. That's okay. Maybe get a third one there. And don't worry about overlapping. Don't worry about that at all. Because I'm not. 
We might all add in, I don't know what else we'll add in in a wee while. More bubbles in our cocktail. It's a very lush cocktail there. Right, um, I actually think you can get a few more impressions of that. Um. Oh. Well, my goodness. Okay, so I received oh, some blender pen blend blends the yesterday in a parcel, and one of the lids was faulty, and that it was not sealing properly. They've made it the wrong way round the lid on one of my colours so I emailed demonstrator support while I had my break since my last video I did today I emailed them and let them know about it sent them a photograph and I've just had a notification that a replacement is actually has been sh shipped to me now how amazing is that for customer support they're so fantastic I seriously have never worked with such a wonderful company I don't work for them, but I do work with them. I am independent. Right, so I've cleaned that off again and pop it in the yellow. Well, it's crushed curry and then just the edge. Into the cherry cobbler. Right, where are we going to put these ones in here? The thing is, when you do this sort of thing, you get a different effect every time. So you can see they've got various amounts of yellow on them. Just like... I didn't know if I was going to like this, but I'm I'm liking it okay. So that... They're much, much fainter, but that's... That was about five or six times I've stamped that, so let's get this cleaned off again. We'll just keep doing the same thing just now. And have a wee think about what's going in the glass. Might have a wee pineapple or something in amongst there as well. Right, so that's loads of crushed curry on and then just a wee Pick up some cherry cobbler on the edges. Just check the block. And bring this down a bit more. Yay, I'm liking that. So again, once again, a lot of this is just repetitive. I am forming some kind of pattern. Sometimes you can just do them completely random, but I just, I find in patterns, I know they're just fantastic reels. We can't fault them. Can't ask, you know, in mass production, things like that happen now and again. After all, it's human beings that are doing the work and well we are fallible do you know we I don't know anyone who doesn't make the odd mistake when they're doing their work and I certainly you know it's but if you can deal with it quickly that's that's the important thing so right so let's get some more of these frangipanis so we've kind of got them going up the middle and then out to the edges. I just love them. I love them. No idea how this is all, what I'm going to do with it all, but I like doing this orientation for a change. Need to get a bit more of the 
Blackberry Bliss in, so I'm having a wee think about that while I'm finishing this off. You know, sometimes you just, it's just play, and I urge you to do that. It's just play. If it doesn't work, well, you know, turn it over, does it? It really doesn't matter at all. <laughs> does it? <laughs> right, that'll do for frangipanis. I'm liking them in the yellow and red. Um, so, they're lovely. You can elaborate on them, you know, you can, there's lots you could do with them if you're working on a card but I'm just I'm just wanting to stick with stick stickle simple stamping really today. So let's have a look at the pineapple. Where where's my wee dish? Really my brand name should be the disorganized or the or the messy stamper because I'm good at both. Look, look, I need to clean all these stamps and there's a lot as well lying about so I um, need a bit of water in here as well just now. Right, so just let's clean this pineapple off properly and dry it a wee bit because that was a bit on the wet side. That water was supposed to be for me drinking while I'm working. Yeah, I actually was thinking, Randy, that either late tonight or maybe tomorrow, I'll come on and do the chopping and talk you through it if anyone wants me to do that. Because I'm, I'm going to have a wee look as well on... I've got my own ideas, but I thought it might be good to have a look on Pinterest. I think, and some of my other demonstrator friends have got um, what they call one sheet wonder templates. So I kind of thought, you know, it might not be everybody's cup of tea watching me do that, but I know that a few of you would like to, so I'll probably, we'll see how today goes. I do have a call with my team tonight, which will be about an hour or so, but other than that, I didn't have any huge plans. I mean, I may have obviously need to have some dinner at some point with my hubby. So what I'm doing is kind of roughly getting the bottom part of the pineapple on the crushed curry and I'm now going to aim the top at the shaded spruce. So if you see, I'm kind of got that so I'm just going to see if we, I'm not quite sure but this exotic drink is going to have a pineapple in there hi Karen and you come come and join us where it's a play day today definitely a play day I'm doing full sheet and then I'm saying tomorrow or very late tonight, depending on how much we get done during the day, I'll come on and show people how how I make them up, what I do with them. Mainly I'm trying to get a lot of cards done for sending out, although I'm not sure if all these alcohol ones are appropriate for sending out to nursing homes, but hey, we'll see. And then yellow on the bottom, green on the top, I'll just put one in each glass. It froze me, oh, don't freeze me. I'm trying to get warmed up, think of warmer days. It's going to be the luscious cocktail you've ever seen. Oh. 
I don't know whether to put more pineapples in there or not. Well, I think I'll just leave it a cocktail in a uh, pineapple in each glass. What else have we got? Don't want that leaf, so let's see what else have we got in Sip Sip Hooray. I feel that I need to get a bit of more Blackberry Bliss in there, so... I think we'll have a bl the cocktail being Blackberry Bliss. We'll pop... Use the wee stamp here. And there's my little block. Come on, come on, come on. And we'll, we'll put some fizz on top as well in a minute. So I want um, I, some of you. What what I'll say is, if you see, I have kind of messed up my crush curry with some green. But what you can do, I've got an old palette knife here to clean that up. Is just all I can do is scrape that off. And take the, and then and then I can um, use an old bone folder and just spread the ink back over there. In fact, I can always re-ink it as well. To be honest, no big, it's no big deal. But some people, that would upset them. They, these apparently are frangipani flowers. I had to Google it. I did have a chat with Ruth this morning and she told me that. I think Ruth did live in Africa some, when she was a child because she was saying it reminded her of her childhood. If Esther's listening, she might confirm that. I think Ruth's doing something else to do. Right, so I'm going to get the Blackberry... Is that what I've got here? Black, Blackberry Bliss. Yes, it's this little flower here. And the, bit, the larger flower is hibiscus. Yeah, they're quite exotic, aren't they, the frangipanis? No, I... I've seen them before, but I couldn't remember what they were called. And I was having a chat with Ruth this morning on Messenger. And she who told me what they're called and sent me a Google image to help me. They come in some beautiful flowers, eh, colours, so you could, you know, you could have fun, look some up and try and make them look quite realistic put that one a bit far down so I'm just going to over stamp it to take it a bit higher alright oh, Helen yeah I think it's probably in photographs I've seen them I'm sure if I've seen them. I think, do you know what, I might have seen them in, what do you call them, botanic gardens I'm thinking. Because they've got like a waxy feel to them haven't they? They're quite thick the petals. Yeah, I've seen them in lovely whites and pinks and I'm thinking that you could do do some now. They, I have got the dyes for that, the tropical set, so you could, yeah, Google it, Randy, because they're really beautiful. You might have some fun just stamping them and and making the colours quite authentic. I don't know whether that's what do you think? Is this enough? It's very busy, isn't it? Who would like to come and to a tropical place with me? Do you know it's missing a bit of music? Should I get the music set out and add some music here? I would if I could remember what where it is. Now I had it out last night. Oh, here it is. What about adding a bit of music here? 
Because on holiday you always have a bit of music to listen to, don't you? What if we just have some notes? I never know where, you know, some days I just go boom, boom, done. Yeah, Wendy, they probably would, but I think they're... You would be struggling to do that. You would need, because they are sort of debossed on, the stamens are debossed on the, on there. What do you call it? On the stamp. Where's the hibiscus? Do you see what I mean on the on the stamp? Because it, again, these are distinctive stamps. The wee polleny bits on the stamen, they're going in the way, debossed. So that you wouldn't be able to do the gold embossing. That would be what you'd have to do is maybe if you had one of these Versamark, not Versamark, um, yeah, what's it? Yeah, there's the mark. Pe the pen. You could do some wee dots and then gold emboss them. But yeah, you gold embossing on that would look pretty. You're right. Okay, so oh, I was going to just the holiday feel. So I was just going to add some music. What colour have we not used in our five colours that we were going to combine in here? I just want to go somewhere tropical. Or you still got really cold there. Oh, it's not very warm here, but it's not freezing. Right, will we add some music for a totally tropical feel? And the only colour out of this lot that we haven't actually used is cherry cobbler. So let's ruin the whole thing and go for it. Put some music in. thinking put them closer together do you know sometimes you should stop when when you're ahead but think I've got a cherry on this one. Let's go. Yeah, you're right, the red would do that, wouldn't it? I've got a strawberry. Olives. Hmm. You just wouldn't do that with your red wine, would you? straw I could pop that in the glass as well but you have read if I put the olives in upside down they might look like cherries I think our umbrella stamp is just a bit big it would be fun but it's a bit big right where's my little block let's see I don't even like shopping, but I want to go out shopping. You need to give this cocktail a name. Mm. 
It's totally tropical anyway. Yeah, I don't have a little umbrella because the art and the only umbrella stamp I've got is a bit big. Just totally. The fruits are just too big. I'd, I, I'm not very good at Fahrenheit. Um, no. We'll just leave it at that just now. Let's just keep some music, put some music in around. Just making you think of your holidays. Holidays by the pool. As I say, I'm probably, it's probably overkill, but I'm sticking it in now anyway. I've got carried away thinking about hot climate. Right, so we've got music, we've got cocktails, we've got beautiful flowers, the sun's pouring in on us. Are you warming up yet? You feel warmer? You feel more comfortable. You just have to dream and the holidays will come. So we're in Scotland probably, let me just see what's my phone saying, what am I expecting a high of today? A high of 11 today. Apparently the sun's going to peak round the cloud by about tea time. It's a bit grey. But you can feel the sun trying. Okay, I think I need to stop there because it's just getting crazy here. So what do you think? So let's... Let's do another one. Do you want to do another one with the Timeless Tropical and change the colours round? Drop the cocktails this time. What about the, I'm thinking, hibiscus and, that's all it is, Helen, it's just a bit of fun. And do you know what, if I put that in the bin when I'm finished, so what, I've had fun, I've chatted with you guys, and I've played. And that, you know, just, if you're feeling down at all, just get some ink and some stamps and stamp. Simple stamping, or simples as they say. I, I really think when that's chopped up, that'll look grand. It's fun. So, I'm going to put, um, yeah, it will make cute cards. I'm going to chop, pop these colours away. That was Blackberry Bliss. Oops. Crushed curry, blackberry bliss, old olive, shaded spruce, and cherry, cherry cobbler, <laughs> cherry cob, cherry cobbler. <laughs> right, I'm going to pop them away, and I'm going to bring out the other five regals, which will be Cajun cage, real red, pumpkin pie, garden green, and rich raspberry. And see what we can do with them. Probably nothing, but we'll, we'll do something. It's totally about relaxing. T to me, stamping is one of the most therapeutic things you can do. And in these tough times that we're all dealing with just now, who doesn't need a bit of relaxation and a bit of fun? Okay. Oh, sleep well. Jacqueline. So I think we'll incorporate the leaf in here too today. Okay, where is this? Well, the other thing I do because I love doing a full sheet of stamping is most orders that I put away, I get a pack of Whisper White, the 40 sheets, 
because this is the best paper for stamping on. This and the 40 sheets are very vanilla and I have run out of very vanilla. I can't find, I thought I had a pack of it and I can't find it. So that's why you're getting Whisper White all the time. Sometimes I like to try to see what things look like on very vanilla. I'm not going to run out of Whisper White. Right, so I'm going to tr I'm going to try and just use mostly this stamp set this time, and I'm going to try and be a bit more random. I'm not sure I can achieve that, but I'm going to try. Um, I've no idea if any of this lot needs re-ink, so we'll just have to take it as it comes. <sighs> Right, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing, but let's just do it anyway. Right, I'm going to use Rich Razzleberry to start off with. No, I'm not. I'm going to use Cajun Craze. This colour is a colour that I didn't use about the first two years. I just didn't get it. This and there was another colour that I just didn't, I just didn't get them. They just didn't. Was it always artichoke or... Yeah, I think it might have been always artichoke. I just couldn't, I just couldn't get them. They just, they just lay on my shelf. Yeah, very vanilla works really well with regals, actually. Anyway, let's just go for this. I'm going to take the hibiscus. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to do that with the hibiscus, what I did with the, oops, I'm going to do the centre, I'm going to do it with pumpkin pie and what's it called again, <laughs> Cajun craze. It is very rich, but it's just not one that makes it to my desk too often. Right, and then I'm going to, again, just get the edges. Again, you could take a dauber and daub some colour on as well. I do have a dauber or two on, around. Let's see what's happened. We'll just go with it, right? I'm going to do them along the middle this time and we'll just see. Quite like that actually. Okay, Wendy, we'll see you later. Take care, whatever you're doing. Stay safe. It's the strangest thing that we're saying that to each other now, isn't it? Stay safe, everybody. But we have to. We have to. Again, I'm just picking up, I've inked it up with the pumpkin pie and I'm just going round the edges with the Cajun Cray. So it's just giving it a darker, I kind of like it. I'm leaving spaces for frangipanis and leaves. Oh, look at that. I just re-inked my pumpkin pie, so it's kind of giving me strange reactions it's not settled down yet but that's okay because I like different shades oh forgot to pick up the bits I meant to do, and I didn't stamp off with that one, that was a bit daft. 
Oh, loving it. Just one more. In fact, I'll maybe just get off with a good night, Rails. I be believe you're probably up late. Yeah, I'll yeah, I'll probably be tomorrow um evening for you when I do the cutting up. That's, I'm just going to leave it at that because I'm going to fill it up with other things. I'm going to use make use of the leaf that comes in this tropical, ju more just to let you guys see what everything does. Again, I'll do with the garden green and we'll, we'll do some other bits and bobs in here. We'll get frangipani in as well. We'll see what this leaf does as if it goes. Oops. I love the detail in it. I'm not so sure I like the shape of it, but I do like the detail in it. This is Timeless Tropical. It's a hibiscus, a leaf, the frangipani, the palm trees and the pineapple. We're staying tropical, girls and boys. There's just going to be a day of full sheet stamping and I'm just coming to you guys for some company. And suggestions as well. I'm trying to not get too much of that bit there. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm a bit uh, dramatic in my reactions when I do stuff like that. I, I just like when you're in a warmer climate the way hibiscus grows as a hedge when we grow it here in the UK it's usually just as one plant in a pot but when it grows in hedges it's just lovely oh it's lunching on your birthday Helen oh that's fantastic Peace and quiet and a blank check. That's a good idea, Karen. I know we kind of all want everything, don't we? Right, I have no idea where this is going either, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, yeah. My son lives in Perth. And he's growing pomegranates as well. I kind of wanted, to, I don't know if it's too much to put the pomegranate in here as well. I might, might just do, why not? Do you, think, do you think I should squeeze the pomegranate in here? Just to show it, because that was the stamp set I was trying to feature. I do like it. Oof, just let's play, let's play. Oh, thanks, Randy. Probably scare people with me. 
Right, so we'll give this, I don't think I cleaned out anything from the last time. So let's do that. Right, so we've used our Cajun cage, cage and our pumpkin pie and we've used our garden green. We will use more of that. Real red, well let's see what happens. See, real red used to be a bright and now it's a regal, it confuses me. We won't get too many pomegranates in, but we will get some, let's see. Oh, yes! Oh, that is so yummy! Let's try Oh, wow! I thought real red would be too bright, but it's not. It's so good. I know this is all a bit bonkers, but... <laughs> I probably... I don't know if I've ruined this or not. But that is just lush, isn't it? Right, now we don't, we've got some amazing colours in here, but we've not used Rich Razzleberry and I did challenge myself to use all five colours, so let's, let's see what happens. Right, so we're going to have Frangipani coming in. Where are you, Frangipani? Frangipani! There you go. Think when I go off the next time. For a coffee, I will wash all my blocks and stamps, ready to start again. It's a strange colour combination, but we'll just see how it all goes together. It looks better when I look on the screen than it does up close. So what we got? Right, so we're going to go for... What are we going to go for? Well, we have red in the middle and... What's it called again? Rich Razzleberry. I have no idea what a Razzleberry is. In Scotland I know what out on the Razzle is, but I don't know what a Razzleberry is. Does anyone know what a Razzleberry is? Is it a made up thing? Or is it real? So again, let's do stamp with one colour edge with a darker colour. Oh, that is lush. It's bonkers, but it's lush. That's kind of what I thought, Christine, but I didn't know if there was such a thing as a razzleberry. Okay. So it was real red in the middle. That's actually a nice colour combination. I wouldn't have... Is anyone else crafting along? Who's stamping? Who's got a full sheet in front of them? Who's doing full sheet stamping? Anybody? It's kind of, well it's half past two in the afternoon. I generally don't um, get on live much during the day but I just decided today that I was just going to dedicate a day to this and why not share it with some pals? 
And that one didn't. I must have put too much razzleberry on it, but it's still nice, still nice. Right, this time, real red in the middle. We are social media socialising, is that what we're doing? Well, it's only socialising we can do, it safe. We're definitely um, doing social distancing. I just keep making them one then every so often I'm look I've got to do a card in a hurry so you know then you chop one up these are lovely these stamps I kind of feel that I want to do masking with them and some sponging we are we're a global bunch and it's so lovely to have this global community. To be honest, thank goodness we have this community. Stampers unite all over the world. What's that song all over the world tonight? I wish I could sing and I would well, probably get thrown off if I did. Pop some more here. Hmm. I don't know whether to use a bit of... There's a bit too much white up here, but I think that's because I probably should have the bottom of them there, but I'm just going to leave that because... That might be somewhere for a sentiment on a card. I, I feel it needs a bit more greenery, but I'm not quite sure. And I, th these need a bit more colour, so I'm thinking of getting a... Ah, Randy, that's interesting. Raspberries and blackberries all in one pie. Oh, how delicious would that be? I love all the summer fruits. I'm thinking I'm going to get my sponge. Now they were, here they are. wonder what to add here, just some orange. Let's not compliment it. See if we just, it's just to pull the colour up a wee bit. I think that helps the hibiscus a wee bit, doesn't it? And just brings it up a bit. Right. Um, this pineapple, I'm thinking just to use the leaves or maybe just to get the tree, the top of the pine tree, actually. The Tropical trees, what are they called? Palms. My brain went somewhere else. Yeah, it, pulled, it lifts them a wee bit, yeah. I don't know. Do you know sometimes when you, you think it needs something, I'm not quite sure what it needs. It needs some splatters, probably. What are the colours we've got? Razzleberry. We don't have a lot of that in there except for the frangipanis, I wonder. 
need to be off though. Not sure what I'm doing here, but I feel like the I need a bit more of this in it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm just doing it anyway. I need, I need something in here. Um, some speckles. What if I bring in these kind of watery drop things from the... Just to get some green, more green in the picture, actually. Oh, everything's artistic license here. <laughs> I think I know more artistic than flying the air, and I'm probably going to mess it up now with this. But I don't know. I just just want to put a bit more. Maybe stamp that off first, and then just. Now. It looks okay there and I'm sure when it's chopped up it'll be okay. I'll just leave it at that. But I think I think I need a bit more orange. That was more I went for I don't know. I'm just going to leave it because I'm just going to mess it up. Unless I, <laughs> I keep thinking, could we have an orange pineapple, do you think? In amongst it all. Out there in the trees and the foliage. Yeah, the thing is, I'm probably going to ruin it. That's. Well, that would be. We don't want a red pineapple, do we? That's real red. Okay. Where have I put pumpkin pie? Does anybody know where I've put it? Here it is. Now, the 
that I'm going to go daft here, but that's not, yeah, it's so full dark. I like that shade better. That's about the third. I'm not going to put it all over. I'm just going to put a few in here now. just the texture on the pineapple I'm quite liking so I'm just you can make this into a game for a child do you know how many pineapples can you find that's too too dark there but do you know what it's it's done now okay I'm gonna leave it at that just now I think we'll go and have a coffee and wash my hands clean my desk up a bit and come back later with, there was a request as well for Beauty Abounds. So there's quite a lot of texture in this. I haven't really thought about this one yet, but I think, I think we can do something with this. I'm thinking possibly some kind of grid pattern. And so while I'm away having a cup of those of you who are able to be around today, um, think about, will we do this in brights? I've seen it done in subtles a few times and I've now played with my regals. Do we go for brights or do we go for the outgoing in colours? Just let me know. Right, so, right. so I'm going to have a coffee and I'll come back. What is it? It's quarter to three. Maybe have a wee quick chat with the hubby and kind of decide what we're going to be having for dinner and to see if there needs any prep. Because I do have a, a team meeting on Zoom at seven. So hopefully, I, I, I'm certainly, I'll, I'll save them all up for tomorrow probably and do some chopping. I'll get some templates for from other people as well for what they do with their one sheet, what, what they call their one sheet wonders. Um, chop them up, make them into different cards, maybe make some bags, some tags. If you've got any ideas, you can share them too. Okay, I'll take this away from there. Actually, um, so here we go. So far today, so those of you who didn't see the previous one, we started off just having a bit of a play with the, what's it called, the fruit one, sweetly? Slice of happiness, which, yeah, I had to play with that. Then with that we went on and we came up with this, which I'm really pleased with, I really like that. Oh, I forgot to show you one I did some time ago and I've done Wink of Stella on that frangipani, so I think that's another way you could enhance what you've done. Then we did this one at the beginning of this video. And then this one. So we've got four already that we've done today and I've got this one left over from another day. So we've got plenty to work with. Actually, I'm, I wasn't sure of this at all. But I actually think that'll chop up and be some really nice bright cards. Yeah, so I'll come back with the brights and beauty abounds. I don't know where I've put it yet. This one. I have got a project uh, coming out next week on my blog, um, on a blog hop that uses the dies that go with this set. So it's quite good to get the stamps that come out. And this is quite nice. If you're, do you know, if you're sending cards just now to friends, 
this will be a really good one. Okay, so I'll stop leathering and I'll go. Those of you who need to go to bed now, sleep well. Those of you who have got to go out and do jobs or shopping or whatever, stay safe, folks. And certainly should be back within the hour. Okay, so there I'm putting a challenge out to myself. I'll certainly be back before four o'clock. That's um, British summer time, four o'clock. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye. Sleep well, Helen. Sleep well.